the Florida State women's tennis team has seen their share of program-defining moments under head coach Jennifer Hyde. But it was the Seminoles' victory over NC State in late March that was unlike any other, as Hyde became the all-time winningest coach in Florida State women's tennis history. There have been um, some amazing moments, and, you know, especially here at Florida State. Um, you know, making the, the ACC championship game, you know, the last two out of the last three years and some of the moments I've had with some, some of our seniors has been amazing. Having the opportunity to coach at your alma mater is the, hands down, by far the coolest thing ever. The Seminoles have brought coach Susanna Fedor in as assistant coach for her first season working with Coach Hyde. I started in um, September and um, I felt very fortunate to get the position and start working with um, a top 25 program and work with Coach Jennifer Hyde and it's been a very um, exciting and um, very challenging year. And for the student athletes Hyde coaches every day, they see the same enthusiasm and love that extends far beyond practice and games. And what makes her more than a coach? Yeah, I mean, Jen's very uh, fun off the court and we have a lot of fun with the team and individually. Uh, on the court, she's very you know, strict. She wants to do everything right. She's a little bit perfectionist and I really like that about her. She traditionally um, is running a very successful and competitive program. So in order to do so, you have to have a very extremely deep knowledge of the game and of how to, to manage and take care of these young players. It's really good she has that mix. She can kind of, you know, switch it on and off. When she needs to be stern, she's stern. And when she wants to have fun, she has fun. And that has been Hyde's motivation since she became Florida State's head coach in 2005 to help her student athletes achieve success at every level. Jennifer really takes a personal interest in, in each and every one of the players, which is, is a unique char characteristic of a head coach because you have to have so many responsibilities. So a, taking a personal interest in a player makes it a really nice four years experience. She has very good character and you know, good characteristics. And I think the, the thing she brings to the team is you know, the energy she has. She wants, uh, every day she comes with a lot of energy and she kind of gives that to all of the players and all of our staff. And I think that's really important. There is no telling where the women's tennis team would be without Coach Hyde, but some athletes have a strong opinion about it. It wouldn't be the same, that's for sure. Um, all the girls have a really good connection with Jen and I think that's really important for a coach and um, it's made her kind of like who she is and how successful she is. I think that's really important. We wouldn't have the, the amount of fun we have and I don't think we would have the amount of success either. There's a lot of blood, sweat and tears from a lot of young ladies that have you know, allowed me to get the recognition when in fact I think you know, they're the ones who should be getting the congratulations for all the matches they've won over the years. And as Hyde finishes her 10th season at the helm, she knows how far her program has come and knows the best is right around the corner. I want that championship ring more than anything. You know, I want to make it you know, Sweet 16, Elite 8, Final Four. I, mean, I think that that's something we strive for, that's something we have on the radar, and that's what we're going to you know, keep our heads down, keep working towards. And the future is bright for the Seminoles, with Hyde continuing to lead her team every step of the way, adding to her legacy with every win and program-defining moment. I'm Linda Kelsey for Seminole Sports Magazine.